Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry for my appearance. Um, actually, um, no, I'm not sorry for my appearance. I, I don't think it's necessary for all of us to look put together and good all the time. So no, I'm not sorry for my appearance. Uh, but I was taking a nap and I... In my sleep, I realized that I had this product which I wanted to put before my uh, how to get rid of vaginal odor, but then I completely forgot about it. And um, so I'm just going to try it now because I don't want to delay this. I wanted to really try it. I don't know why I'm so hyper. So I wanted to try out this bikini line hair remover cream. Now, um, when I was a teen, there was nothing specifically made for your bikini, bikini line or your vagina. And even if there was, I was completely unaware of it. Um, I remember using, um, what's that brand? Annie Frank. Annie Frank was that girl, no? Um, Any French? Any French? I don't know why. Why does it seem wrong? Like, okay, there was that brand which I tried once for my hands and that smelled so awful um, that I never used a hair remover cream after that. But also, I'm not like a very big uh, shaver or trimmer. I think I said that in my um, how to shave your vagina video. I just trim and that's how I like it. I'm very comfortable with body on my hair. As you can see, I don't wax. I don't get embarrassed. I think I'm at that age where I have zero Fs to give to anyone. So, I think, but this I wanted to try because a lot of you wanted uh, a review on this. This is uh, Everteen Desirable Always Bikini Line Hair Remover. It says no harsh smell, ingrown hair, razor bumps, cuts, nicks or burns or skin darkening, which is good. Okay, so I've never tried it. This is the first time I'm actually opening it also and what is this? Oh, these are those um, wet tissue no, that you put in um, water. You get a spatula and you get a get the cream in like the squeezy tube so let me just read the instructions carefully okay okay so it says to just apply this on the desired area leave it on for five minutes these are a uh, wet towel yeah so you use this to wipe off the cream so I'm going to try it now before trying it obviously I'm going to like my subscribers don't need this but there are a lot of people who will discover this video and then come and talk shit listen I'm at an age where these things do not embarrass me I do not get embarrassed so save yourself you know some trouble and don't waste your time by coming here and commenting because there's nothing that you can say which is going to make me feel embarrassed or bad for doing this video um I do these videos for the young girls that I have in, on my channel because when I was a teen, I didn't have anyone to guide me uh, with these things. Uh, so I want to be that person to guide others. So I'm going to try it. So don't come there and comment and say that, oh, she's shameless and all of that because you are definitely not going to make me feel uh, shameless or anything. Okay, so just save yourself uh, some trouble. And now I'm just going to try this. Okay, so I just got done trying that and I can tell you how I used it. So the first thing I did is wash myself thoroughly just with water and uh, warm water so that it just opens up the pores. Now, this tube, I think it retails for 149 rupees, will come, you know, you can use this three times because you do need a generous amount of it. So I put it on, it does have a nice fragrance, but once yeah, it does have a nice fragrance, but once I think you put it on the skin, it does smell like those hair removal uh, cream smell, but it's nothing too strong, nothing uh, that will irritate you because I hate that smell and this was very mild. Now, another thing I noticed is it doesn't have a tingling effect, but it has a very cooling sensation. Almost feels like you've put ice over there, but not like as intense as ice, but you get my point. It was cooling. It didn't tingle. So I left this on for five minutes. I had to time it because 
I can get um, distracted and leave it on for a long time and because it's a hair removal cream and I'm using it on my bikini line I didn't want to uh, take that chance so I did time myself now the starlet that they have given once you put it in the water I used it in cold water because I wanted to wipe it off with cold water it is quite big I was worried that this would be small and I would not have enough uh, space to clean it but this is quite big it's almost as big as this hand towel so that is a good thing but another thing is after five minutes once you remove it it's not like you know as soon as you remove it it's all going to come off you need to do a little bit of uh, you know scrubbing motion like this you need to press it a little and take it out and it does remove even the uh, tiniest hairs because like i said i trim so the hair is usually tiny it does come off another thing that i did after that is i washed myself again with cool water just to close all the uh, close the pores and um, to just seal everything but i did go in with a generous amount of uh, aloe vera gel just to soothe that area uh, because i didn't want to take any chance or uh, because i have sensitive skin and it can get a little irritated sometimes so that's the reason i went in with aloe vera gel and i'm guessing there's no problem uh, like i said again there's no tingling but cooling effect and once when i was washing myself with cold water i did feel uh that instant cooling effect so if uh, that's not a problem then this product is great um like it says it does not have any harsh smell it does have a smell but it's very mild and it doesn't bother you much uh, although they ask you to do a patch test you i think should do a patch test i'm usually kind of a little gutsy when it comes to products uh, so I did not do a patch test but again you should use a very generous amount if you want like good results if you want every hair to come out I didn't use the spatula I just used my hands because I feel like with your hands with your fingers you can be more precise than the spatula so that's the reason I did not use this but I think while removing it if you, you can also use the other side to remove the hair and that will also help with it but I personally preferred using my fingers another thing I would like to mention is to uh, be very careful where you place the cream place it only on areas where you have hair and make sure you don't get it anywhere on the inside though this is for you know sensitive skin and it is all natural but you still have to be a little careful that's why I said that I preferred using my fingers over the spatula that way you can control the product really easily now I'm sure most of you all are going to do this while you're taking a shower so make sure to not use soap after that or uh, go in with any kind of razor and also make sure that you use a cotton underwear after this because that way it allows the skin to breathe and it's breathable and you're not restricting the uh, air. Um, also, if you are doing this, you know, whenever you have time, make sure you change your underwear and don't wear the same thing just to be hygienic and for hygiene purposes uh, so that you don't irritate the skin around there and uh, don't cause any kind of uh, harm to your skin because skin over there can be really sensitive like it says um, this does not darken your skin i am going to update on that as well but make sure you are careful and uh, be safe be really careful while using it don't be careless and um, yeah that's that's the thing that i wanted to add also if you have extremely sensitive skin and anything irritates you very easily i would suggest you to skip wearing underwear that particular night when you've used this that way uh, your skin you know gets the required amount of um, air and your skin will not feel as irritated as it would normally also uh, again if you feel a lot of irritation because you have really sensitive skin you can also keep the aloe vera gel in the refrigerator and take it out at night use it uh, generously and then go to sleep that way i assure you you will not have any kind of irritation you will not have any kind of uh, itchiness this especially for girls who have extremely sensitive skin but otherwise this does not cause any kind of um, uh, itchiness or any kind of burning sensation because i have sensitive skin but mine is not as sensitive as some people because i know a lot of girls whose skin is just so sensitive that you know applying anything on that can uh, really irritate it so if you belong to that category then try and use cold uh, aloe vera gel on that area and it will really soothe you and you will not have any kind of irritation uh, yeah that's it i like this product uh, though i'm not a very big um, fan of removing all the hair but i think once in a while it's a good thing when especially during periods and if you uh, hate um 
you know getting rashes and all that sweatiness when you are wearing a pad then i think it's nice to clean yourself like this before so that your periods are much easier and uh, does not have a lot of uh, mess so yeah that's it that's it for today's video i'm no i'm actually not sorry i wanted this video to be quite raw and i hope you enjoyed it and i will leave the links to this product in the description box if you want to buy it but um, yeah that's it i will meet you guys in my next video until then bye